All right. Um. So yeah, test drive, crisis, insomnia, and collector, and then it's just gunsmith stuff. I I don't believe BSG's added the barters yet. They said they would. That's why I'm not rushing. Because it'd be like. Pfft. Because there's going to be like multiple days of having to wait for shit too. Like, even when we do hand them in. But, I don't know. Maybe to wrap the season up, if we get everything else done and we get stuck on those few items. I just buy them or something. I don't know. And then we just... Like, I'll farm, I'll farm the AKMN and the M-Lock. But the Vector thing and the AK-102 thing, I'll just buy. And that would be the end of the season. Because, obviously... um. Those two items, like we've been looking for, I'd say we've been searching pretty actively every weapon case. Yeah, I, I'd rather do it legitimate because that's what hardcore is. It's, it's not meant to be rushed. It's not a it's not a race. It's to do it legitimate, but it's more about the viewing experience. I don't want to go to the point where it's like drawn out too much. So, all right. So, I did a little tiny bit of stash, stash tidying. Benefit of YouTube is no ads. Oh, well, there was mid rolls. Right. Uh, I think we just go back in the streets, keep farming for the collector items that we need, and checking weapon crates and multi vitamins. And the yeah, that's pretty much it. And we do insomnia at the same time. So streets, night time. Let's go. Like I said, we just we need twelve more PMC kills for nights. Night time, and then we're doing test drive. You're not hardcore. Unless you live hardcore. And the legend of the rent was way hardcore. Twelve nighttime PMC kills. We need Okay, we've got crash site collapse crane. I'll laugh if the door key's there, because we don't actually, we didn't bring in the Wi-Fi can. Can you get the rat poison inside, um... Inside... Took it. with this path thing. Uh. Crash side collapse crane puts us through the spiciest area of the map. So heavy already. But this. Sports bag straws. Don't know the thanks for the eight months, dude. I brought a lot of mags in. I didn't need to do.
The main reason we're not going ground zero for not time kills is we need a bear plushie, and we feel like this is the better map for it. Yeah, do we agree on that? Bear plushie, rat poison, um, evasion band. Shoreline for plushy. I've gotten two evasions on ground zero scavs in like three. Not killing player scavs. Unless it's a double, I could pretty much skip it as well. How much dollars? Matches a contact and something else. Handy to have. Still, um, grenades going off near like Concordia. I need Wilson's for the um, M1As. But didn't I need three survival lighters for something? Why do I have so many mags? I forgot to unload them. Just gather. Thanks, dude. I don't know if night vision is the way to go on this map. You know what I mean? Like it's... Like it's definitely the way to go on reserve.
LT Collaroy, thanks for 35 months. So rat poison is duffel bags and drawers, right? So there's no point checking these. We also need med spawns, actually. Shoreline has like the best duffel bag spawns in the game, I feel. Uh, there's evasion army and spawning duffel bags. Yes. And then that op also might be an option. There's a dude near check 15, apparently. I don't think this really helps. Still season 11. No real spawn in here is this bit here. News? What's big news? Is there any uh, med bags in here? I don't think there is. Did I shoot then? Did I hit my keyboard? What the fuck did I hit? Yeah, I checked the relax room twice already, or three times already. Got three uses left. Mm -hmm. Three to can six to twenty nine months.
Unless I go back through that. I think he walked off to the left. There's no point trying to chase. There is actually... Okay, I've either hit every rail and you can't shoot through it or I'm just like the most unluckiest person you can ever have. The only thing I could really do is try and um, sprint to... to catch up with him, you know? Like, try and run around the back of the ba map. Cut him off. Players in streets nighttime are way more sweaty. I think I'd rather just go like pretty much any other map. Like I think reserve works better for nighttime kills. I got the um the quest to hand over the Epsilon container. So the thing I hate about nighttime customs, guys, is, in my opinion, I die to cheaters farming cultists, goons, bosses on nighttime customs more than anything. I get the most sus deaths there. If it wasn't for that one reason, I'd be like, that's the place to farm all my nighttime kills. And I don't go near dorms at all, because dorms is fucked, because audio. And I, and I, you, you guys see how rarely I call like cheaters and stuff, but just nighttime customs, Farming in the cultist area, going for all the PvP kills, it's where I have the most difficult time. So, that's why I'm more against that. But you guys seem to think that Ground Zero is good for it. Concordia. Concordia. Am I blind? Where's Concordia Security? Yeah. Hey, mate, how you doing? 
I think reserve is probably the better one because I can. It's so easy to extract on by just going to uh, old mate, like the, the the no backpack, and I can farm weapon parts. At least reserve, I get weapon parts. I think that's where I kind of feel is the the benefit of going reserve. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like the live stream. I don't even know how that works and what it does, but apparently people say it's important. So if you if every time you join, just hit the like. Done. It's that simple. I find that holding the best, the top of this night building is usually the best place to get kills. Oh no, get in the building, please. I have the best luck with having him spawn. Nice experience. Welcome, dude. <sighs> Ooh, new key. What key do you reckon that is? TB. RBRS? Nah, I would have had that. Tech 30 is nice. You can't ID any raid? No, it's against the rules. Against my rules. Someone has to be going for Glucko, right? Oh, I haven't got VO or BO or, or BK, sorry. Could be one of those. No worries, dude. No worries, dude. Love you too. Well, it's 12B. That's 12 ammo. It needs to be, it needs to say M lock. Just trolls me when it does that. Looks like it. You guys seem to enjoy it. I don't always stop if you guys didn't like it or didn't didn't watch it.
How is there no one going for Glocker? The only reason we would go for Glocker is for the, um... AKMN. It seems like such a risk. Did I increase what, sorry? Did you notice an a increase in cheaters last week or so? No. There's less of anything. Maybe just getting worse at the game. I'm going to check this building and after I check this building up. That's an AK-12, isn't it? Hey, Jag, how you doing, mate? I know it can't, it's not possible, but imagine if there was a way to like hundred percent without a doubt check how many people died to cheaters and not, and then how much how much people called cheats and not. It needs to be the M lock. We found two of them in the one raid. Now I can't find any of them. I think he's in this building just here. He might come out that doorway. Oh my god, I just saw him. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? GG. How did he die? He shot me with an RPD then? Uh, GG. I hit him five times as well. Where's the aim punch? First board iron sight, uh, not iron sight, fucking uh, hollow sight. It shot me. Oh, man. He probably saw me walk past the door, the window and then held the angle, but I didn't see him on the first, um, I didn't see him on, when I walked in there the first time, but maybe he did. Maybe he was there and he saw me. Yeah, it was a pimp C. Uh, it's not night time anymore, is it? Oh, okay. So we have four guns. Mm. Fuck is that noise? What was, what was that noise? Hello? Sticky keys? Beep boop. They're gonna be sticky keys. Five. When did I press shift then? And there's zero ergo on this. Alright. I examine the key. 
RBRS. Yeah, we're right. We're right. That's a dead room, isn't it? Oh, actually, maybe it's not. Does that open a door? So we just started talking of this. What? Because of your hardcore series. Any tips on how to increase visibility of enemies? Flashlights. Nah, uh, in all seriousness, um, you're going to have to learn what areas are meant to look like and you'll see things that look out of place. Like, for example, that death that I just had then, the guy that I saw was in a doorway and the doorway doesn't normally look like that. So, you know, to anyone else, it could have been like a box at the back of the room, but it was the guy just, you know, it was his head sticking out. So, to learn every angle of every map, to, it's honestly the thing that's going to make you notice things more than anything. <laughs> yeah, also touch the screen with your forehead. I used to go to a LAN party, and I, um, this is like 20 odd years ago, and there was this guy, and, he's, and his head would be like that far away from the monitor. He'd be like, he obviously had a sight problem. And this is back when we had like 15 inch monitors. Should be to the woods of the village, right? Oh nope, I'm going the wrong way. We're just this way. Huge. That's fucking huge. It's going to make you very heavy, I think. I think we stick to the strat.
Nee, das ist... Okay. Okay, so this is our spot. All right, what do you want to talk about? There's usually someone to take the car within the. F There's usually someone that takes the car within the first like ten minutes. Get on top of one of the buildings. Someone said that you can do it from that side. That is one rocket in your left. You will have a clear side of the car. The one from ages away. The tin roof. You can see both car and rocks near the village. I need. I. I really need to have very low risk of dying. Like we're talking, I need just to replace these M1As. It's like we're talking up to 12 hours to replace one M1A. So I need to get like, have it pretty safe to get a couple of kills. Once I'm on like three or four kills, like I'll, I'll, I'll play a lot more aggressive, but yeah, there's a big sheet in the middle covering it now too. Covering what, sorry. Is that the car, what, covering the car extract? So do I go left then and go down to the rock? That, that's like a 200 meter kill though. We did shoot a Born of Heaven here and got like three kills in one raid. So, yeah, we're streaming on both YouTube and, and Twitch at the same time. That's Sunken Village, so that guy might come up this way. You think you're hard to see lying down like that? I think I'll hear him before they see me. Someone's at the village. Maybe. Yeah, so someone's coming through the village. Needs to be 60 meters. I don't really need this M700. Could just take the side off it and drop the gun. Oh, I should've got a DT hybrid. Okay, I wouldn't mind the gun. It's another M1A complete, I think. We're on the slightly low ground from the village, so the scav shouldn't really walk. You can hear him now. He's coming up through it. Something suppressed. Is it two? Is that someone's using a... Very loud, bolty. He might just run around the village and try and get to the car. Angry scavs. The fact that he stopped shooting the scavs makes me feel like he ran around him. I thought I heard the airdrop. It's coming straight from the front too, of course. No fucking way. So, I think they've called, I think they called in the airdrop. I think they called in the airdrop. Take the car extract straight after it. He wants to go to here. He did look heavy, didn't he? Because then I can look here. I thought it was two, but that, that guy, like, was the only one that seemed to get any shot at. He didn't look overly geared. He had a ZSH helmet on, like a face shield helmet on woods. It's not really the smartest play. You're not going to hear shit. Maybe his mate died the scars. Well, there was someone using a sniper, like a Mosin. I don't think it was a scav.
It's a really fucking huge raid. Heart rate, 86. <laughs> How did, wait, how did I only do 35 damage? I did 35 damage to body. I did two headshots though. Wait, what? I did one headshot? What? That doesn't even make sense. I killed two PMCs. Ammo used, two. It counts. Two. Fatal hits, two. Oh, he might have had a blacked out head. That makes sense. That's the only thing that makes sense, but it makes sense. So the first guy I killed legit, the second guy... Had a blacked out head. First guy was a throat. His mask and helmet were... Uh, were full and weren't damaged. I don't know. Alright. So. What did he have? A lot of random shit. Nothing we need. I can put that aside just in case by some random chance that we have. So vendor, vendor, vendor. 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 Isn't that like a night vision mount? Vendor, vendor, vendor. Vendor, vendor, vendor. The sick part about this, two things. One, we can use uh, the voodoo site on something else, which is really nice. And then the second is the hybrid suppressor. Oh, he had 993 in there too. It's nice of him. The rest of this gun can be, uh, can be sold. And that DT hybrid goes on this one. Cool. Now we have another M1A. How long? Never seen Pestily play Rust? Oh, I haven't played Rust in a long time. It's not really uh, a game I enjoy anymore. I want them. This can stay. Thanks, dude. An 80 Ergo M700. The fuck? Why is it when I use an M700, it, it's got no Ergo? This one has seven. It has eight. It's a wave, isn't it? Oh, that's the uh, SVD one. My oh, YouTube stream is so clear, I can see Pestily's thoughts. Get out of my head. I said that would be my strat, and it worked on that raid, so we'll continue doing it. They have changed it, so there's more protection there, though. So the good thing about it is I don't have to headshot. It's the one one saving grace, I guess. Should we hand in some USEG dog tanks for rubles and XP? Well, I did labs last because I don't have unlimited key cards. I wouldn't normally recommend doing labs last. I normally do labs like... I normally do like factory... Customs labs. If I do it on my main account. There's someone. Unless it's a scav. That's a scav, it's a very erratic running scav. It's fucking distancing is the thing that shits me. Now I have to run over here. Oh, 
hope that they didn't. See me. Unless it was a scarf, but... Fuck. Found it. They ran into this building, I thought, but... This feels so sketchy. Might have been a scarf. Please tell me that was 60 meters. Yes. And then he stopped to look at someone up on the hill. Did he not? Quest are we working on? Test drive. You'd be amazed at how many people will be like, bosses and up. 
running straight to the car. So that's what we're trying to take advantage of here. The packet loss thing hasn't been fixed yet, has it? I know they have the fix coming. Nikita did confirm that. Interchange would actually be a pretty decent map to do this on. Just hang out near Emicon or, or Railway and get a fair few people at range. For me, it's just purely the fact that these guns are so hard to get, but thankfully we just got another one. So I think we've got five guns now. You're teaching children how to rat extracts. There will be payback. So I'm doing my hardcore count with a gun that takes me around 12 to 15 hours just to farm. One of, and I need to get five kills. I ain't got a W key around and try and shoot everyone in the face. Once I get this quest done, then I'm on Insomnia, and that I can run around and shoot everyone in the face. But this one is very different. If they took the distance thing off this, I would do it just normally. I would have no problem moving around more. But because I need to have to be 60 meters, it's it's a really, really frustrating task because you can't... Like, I, I used to do it on Lighthouse. The 60 meter things, is like, it gives me headaches. It's a bit unfortunate. I would have thought um someone would have taken the car by now. So what I'm... You know, I'm actually doing people a favor, really, when you think about it. But what I'm trying to target is the people that just go into a map and say, oh, boss isn't here, and then just extract straight away. You know, I'm killing those people. Well, that's at least my intention. Because when they spawn over this side of the map, and then there's no boss, and they're like, oh, I'll just hit the car. That's who I'm trying to kill here. Any tips of a psycho sniper? I do it on factory. It's pretty risky, but... Just... I guess I'm impatient would be the best way of explaining it. I don't like it. I think I think PMC Karma doesn't need to be in Tarkov, and I think they could easily do that same idea, but just with scavs. Because someone will find a way to exploit it. Someone will find a way to exploit it. But if they just do scavs, then it does the same thing. It gives away the people hiding in those positions, locations. When's the lag meant to be? Like 45 or something? And the boss might be up. Where's our spot? Am I blind? This way more. This way more. Where's my fucking spot? Here. Why do I feel like I'm more exposed? Is it this way more? We'll see how we go here. We get one more and I'll start W keying around. This is actually kind of baffling. That first raid, having like, you know, someone clearing through village and and all that, was a pretty typical woods raid for me. <laughs> having two raids in a row where someone's not going to the car straight away, quite 
quite, uh, or at least the village, quite surprising. Do we reset? Do we wait another couple of minutes? One of the places I find works really well also is, you know that rock that overlooks you set camp? But it's pretty obvious now. A lot of people know about that spot. Why would this spot be good for 60 plus meter kills though? Because anyone who goes to the village usually takes the car extract and you can get them at the car. And then anyone coming down the hill to go to the village or the car extract you can shoot. And anyone that's over at the sunken village side or kills the goons runs along the beach here to go to the car extract as well. well not beach, you know, the river. So there's like a... It's a three-prong approach, you know? The problem, with, the problem with just roaming around the map trying to kill people is... Um, Woods is one of the maps where you just get spotted from an angle that you never knew that someone would be at. So we're better off playing it safe. Pretty much what I'm trying to do is, you know, at the start of a raid where people go, oh, there's, there's no boss. And then they run out and try to kill those people. The issue, the issue is, guys, like, I wouldn't have any issue just running around trying to kill people if it wasn't for the fact that these guns are kind of hard to get for me on hardcore. That's why I've left it for so late. Like, I've had this task for a very long time. Because I just find it, you feel a lot less stressed when you've got multiple guns compared to just... One or two. When you go into a raid and you're like, alright, I've got four up my sleeve, you know, it's like a lot less stressful. I'm good, I'm good. I'm just, I don't know. Something went down the wrong hole, I guess. It's the 60 meters that ruins his whole fucking task.
He's on the other side of that wall, I think, the blue. Unless I got him, which I doubt it. No. Do I flank? I think we stick to the strap. Ball bang him. Attempted, but I don't even want to waste that. Sweet, sweet 993 ammo. He is behind that wall still. I just don't want to get shot in the back. I reckon this is 60 meters, chat. I'll just sit here. I think it is. I reckon not 60. This is risky, but I'm going to try getting up on top of that hill in front of me. Hit in front of him, you know what I mean? Because he's only got night sight motion. It's a 
a different guy. <clears throat> Done. I forgot to bring in the money for the uh, for the car extract. What is this sledgehammer barter for? It's an armor, isn't it? But that's not the motion? Right, there could be a different guy here. I don't have the cash. Cash, 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 cash. It's a long run, but we'll get there. Realistically, uh, we could take the whole, whole thing. Now it's good to do this. the Mosin guy put the bullet in our head? Of course it's an AKM, not an AKMN. <clears throat> Is Is Albados the one that's like RNG? There is a gun parts inside that house. Yeah, but we can just reset. Fine properly. Uh, we have insomnia and crisis to go. And then just gunsmith tasks left. I play on 1440p. What's your plan for insomnia? I've got 12 kills left, so I'll probably keep going reserve and just farming um, reserve for the collector items I need and
Ja. I just saw a snap on factory. <sighs> it's gonna sound a little bit. Oh, I'm on mute actually. <clears throat> Had a bit of flame I needed to get rid of. Had to hock a loogie. Neglecting us over Twitch chat. I read. I read all the messages. Sir, I'm also in the middle of a battle. We need more attention. You cuddle them too much. Maybe. Agree, Re. Next to 21 months. Funny how I was hunting the guy with the Mosin and I killed a guy with a fucking VPO and a and an RFB instead. It's a dead man here. Multiples. Am I gonna die? The man lives again. No one's taken the car yet. There he is. Where is he? Where are you, Moser man? Let him live. We're, we're now in the spring. So we've gone through winter and now we're in the spring. So we get a little bit of rain. Everything's a little bit, I don't know, grayer. Huge. All right. All right. We need crisis. We need multivitamins. And we need insomnia kills. Where are we doing this? 
We should just get the old, uh, the, the multivitamins done. Make that our focus. We could go reserve our med buildings. Oh, but there's not many med bags in there. You know where actually would work well, but risky AF. If we go shoreline. Shoreline and all those duffel bags. I need more level 25 bear tags. Cool, test drive's done. How do I get an ammo case? I was holding onto these welder glasses so I could do the flashbang task. I don't need them anymore. Right. We actually don't need to have any of these M1As anymore. <laughs> but it does mean we can um we can use all these sites. So we can put the DT hybrids. Take that site. And then I'll get rid of the M1A. I'm not a big fan of M1As in general. So um no, let's just put all this in here for now. Actually, we'll put the guns in here. Let's fuck this one off. We've got that. Hybrid. Another gun in here. All right, let's clean up. Saving up all these guns. Never even used them. But I can guarantee you, guys, I guarantee you, if I didn't have five guns, I would have died five times with one gun individually. Guarantee you. It's like trying to get, um, trying to get shootable and heaven kills and forgetting to start either Psycho Sniper or Tarkov Shooter, right? You just, you don't, you don't start Tarkov Shooter and you get three kills without dying. You know what I mean? Right, let's put these down here for now. <sighs> Another M1A. I see him. Cool. Isn't there an M1A gunsmith? They're all made. So I got the M1A there, ready to go. DVL, HA is good to go. ASVEL is good to go. The Vector, we're missing one part, and we might need to change that stock still. AKM needs to be an AKMN, and we need the, the foregrip. I'm missing the muzzle from the AK-102, and everything else is done. Every other gun is completely done. So, and there's the M700. So, I'm missing five weapon parts.